In this video, you'll be learning fundamental concepts of the World Wide Web and what makes the web the web. It's no exaggeration to say that the World Wide Web has had as profound an effect on human communication as the printing press. One key difference is that the operation of the printing press was limited to a few select tradesmen, but on the web, everyone has his or her own printing press. Everyone can be a publisher of a website. Before creating your first website, you'll examine a short history of the web because the history impacts the way that you write code for your web pages. You'll start by exploring the basic terminology of computer networks. A network is a structure in which information and services are shared among devices known as nodes or hosts. A host can be any device that can send or receive data electronically. The most common hosts that you will work with are desktop computers, laptops, tablets, mobile phones, and printers. A host that provides information or a service to other devices on the network is called a server. For example, a print server is a network host that provides printing services and a file server is a host that provides storage space for saving and retrieving files. The device that receives these services is called a client. A common network design is the client-server network, in which the clients access information provided by one or more servers. You might be using such a network to access your data files for this tutorial. Networks are classified based on the range of devices they cover. A network confined to a small geographic area, such as within a building or department, is referred to as a local area network, or LAN. A network that covers a wide area, such as several buildings or cities, is called a wide area network, or WAN. Wide area networks typically consist of two or more interconnected local area networks. The largest WAN in existence is the Internet, which incorporates an almost uncountable number of networks and hosts involving computers, mobile devices such as phones, tablets, and so forth, MP3 players, and gaming systems. The biggest obstacle to effectively using the Internet is the network's sheer scope and size. Most of the early Internet tools required users to master a bewildering array of terms, acronyms, and commands. Because network users had to be well-versed in computers and network technology, the Internet use was largely limited to programmers and computer specialists working for universities or large businesses or the government. The solution to this problem was developed in 1989 by Timothy Berners-Lee and other researchers at the CERN Nuclear Research Facility near Geneva, Switzerland. They needed an information system that would make it easy for their researchers to locate and share data on the CERN network. To meet this need, they developed a system of hypertext documents. Hypertext is a method of organization in which data sources are interconnected through a series of links or hyperlinks that users activate to jump from one data source to another. Hypertext is ideally suited for the Internet because end users do not need to know where a particular document, information source, or service is located. They only need to know how to activate the link. The effectiveness of this technique quickly spread beyond Geneva and was adopted for other networks across the Internet. The totality of these interconnected hypertext documents became known as the World Wide Web. The fact that the Internet and the World Wide Web are synonymous in many users' minds is a testament to the success of the hypertext approach.